real fast about what my plan is for uh, the Reestablished Nature YouTube channel. And my biggest mission for this channel is to inspire anyone to just get started and grow your own food, right? Um, you don't have to have all the tools. You don't have to have all the knowledge. Just get going and allow the garden to be your classroom. Allow the garden to teach you. Trust that God and nature will give you everything that you need to allow your garden to grow and to thrive, right? I truly, truly believe that a garden thrives by the individual that you are and how you are nurturing your garden. If you're out there watering it, if you're out there taking care of it, if you're out there speaking to it, if you're out there um, genuinely just showing the, all your love and support and pouring it into the garden, it's going to grow. Yes, you may have crops that just don't produce. Yes, you may have a bed of onions like that I have that is grown with tons of weeds. Yes, you may have some things that you do or done that hasn't worked, but that is the whole purpose of gardening, right? It allows you to just express yourself. It allows you to be free. It allows you to make mistakes, but the garden is a forgiveness giving garden the garden forgives very easily and even in the mistakes that you make you can still reap a harvest so grow your own food just get going just get started if you don't have the ability to put an in-ground garden in uh, you can grow inside of planters inside of pots inside of grow bags inside of kitty pools like there's so many different ways that you can grow food and I just encourage you to do that I encourage you to do it so um my vision for the garden is that, um, number one, I want to encourage anybody to just grow their own food and to just get started. Number two, I want to be able to show you guys how you can take the harvest from your garden and create uh, freezer meals and uh, soups and stocks that can last you, you and your family through the winter month. I also want to just show that there are healthy recipes and, and things that you can make with your food. Um, to feed yourself and your family a healthy and nutri nutrient um, rich dish, right? And then um, just the importance of growing your own food, right? Um, how important it is because by you growing your own food, you know what you're using in your garden. You know what you're feeding your plants. And that is so important nowadays when a lot of our farmers and a lot of um, the big box stores um, are doing it inserting so many preservative preservatives and using chemicals surrounding our food and that's one thing that i love about my garden is i do everything organically so in my last video you see me mixing up my apple cider vinegar my white vinegar a little dish soap my peppermint oil my spearmint oil and spraying my garden to kill off the weeds inside of the garden um i use organic fooding like bone meal and blood meal to feed my plants um, I use manure to feed my plants. I don't use any, any chemicals inside of my garden at all. Um, so I just encourage anybody to do that. But I was on a clubhouse room yesterday helping to moderate it. And we were talking about the lifestyles of people who live in the blue zones, right? And one of the things that came up inside of this room was the importance of teaching our children where our food comes from because a lot of the kids don't know i had my niece in the garden with me and she was asking me like what plant was what and i mentioned to her about the collard greens and she's like oh like the collard greens grow in the ground and that's nothing to take away from my niece but she was really surprised by it and it's important that we incorporate our children into this lifestyle my son is 19 months old and i have him in the garden with me um, he knows that this is food and as I start harvesting the food and the vegetables I will have him out here with me as well and then we'll go back to the kitchen he loves to be in the kitchen helping me cook and he will be able to create and make those connections even at a young age that we get the food from growing it ourselves in the ground and then we take it back into our kitchen and we cook it up and we eat it and it gives our body the the nutrients that we need to be healthy and to thrive, right? But also, I truly believe by incorporating our children inside the garden and allowing them to see the, the fruit that's growing and the vegetables that's growing, 
it wants it allows them to want to eat those more often so a lot of times you find kids that's like oh i don't like broccoli or oh i don't like corn or oh i don't like peppers or whatever it may be but it, when you incorporate the children into the garden and allow them to see how it's growing allow them to see all the colors of the food and you explain it to them and then you allow them to taste it when you're cooking and just incorporate it incorporate them into the process they will want to eat it more often guarantee that so um, I just wanted to talk about that real fast. So those are my goals for the Reestablished Nature Garden. And I just wanna thank you guys for joining me on this journey, this lifestyle of reestablishing nature back into our lives because it's truly a lifestyle. It's embracing nature, it's embracing that we can grow our own food, it's embracing that with our mindset, we can transform our lives it's embracing using all natural products and solutions right so that we get further and further away from the chemicals that is drowning our society everything that is around us is chemical filled and i love just being able to get away from that slowly but surely just removing myself from all of that i use all natural cleaners in my home i i just took the leap of faith to start growing my own food um i do try to do 80 percent of our health care right in the comfort of our own home and i'm encouraging my son to do the same thing to be an advocate for his health to be an advocate to grow his own food i truly believe that when it comes to children if you raise a child up in the way that he or she should go even if he may depart or she may depart they'll come back to the foundations that you set for them and that's something that i want to encourage parents to do is set the foundations for your children set them so again, thank you all for joining me today for Reestablished Nature. Until next week, you all have a blessed week. Thank you.